Hey, what's going on, folks? Glutch here, and welcome back to the ultimate farm shop on Georgetown. Guys, I'm I'm busy working away here on the uh, the Dodge Ram, the 3500. Put a new muffler on it. We got a new exhaust system. Guys, if you, don't forget if you want this truck, you can go download this off of the Elk Mountain Modding Facebook page. Emblem is right. Well, it's way up there. You you can kind of see it. I'll try to make sure I put a link in. If you're not, it's in the link on the previous Georgetown video we did. You guys need to download this truck. This truck is amazing. Uh, what are we doing today? Well, we got some new equipment coming. I might have agreed to something. Well, yeah, there's a lot of orange in here. And there's something else that's that's coming. It's kind of a, like a summer demo setup. Oh, man. Yep. And here it comes now. Wow. Um, remember all that complaining I've done about Stara's in the past, guys? I'm hoping that this here is the end of that. Yeah, guys, I think I think this this might be the end of the complaining. We'll see. We'll see how this works out. We've got a lot of work to do today. Let's do it. Pitter patter. <laughs> By something else, I mean a lot of something else. Look at look at this. Look at all the equipment they brought over. All Stara. Guys, I, I don't even know what to say. I really don't. I mean, we've got a bigger auger wagon to replace. Well, we've got the one right behind the tree over there. Uh, now we've got this one here, which is more of a wagon style instead of just a single axle. Bigger as well. 33,000 liters in that. And look at this. A 32 bo or 32 uh, row <laughs> planter. Um... This is a lot bigger than the last star we had. Not only is it a 32 row, guys, it's a direct drill and it also fertilizes. That actually has potential written all over it. Uh, it's not very often you can find a direct drill that does both fertilizing and planting. That's, um, I'm actually kind of excited to use this right now. And I, I don't think I've ever seen, well, a star product that's useful. And finally, lastly, guys, you guys heard me complain about this before. Uh, both, like, we've got small Staras. They're not big tractors. But neither of them have front loader options that we can put on them. Well, the new model does. Not only that, this one here is 250 horsepower, he said. I think it's 250, he said. Anyways, so this is actually more horsepower than, well, the 180 we have sitting there. And it's got dual front and rear, plus the front loader option. Uh... This is actually pretty sweet. Look at I, I'm not minding this color scheme. I mean, this black on orange, where the old ones are kind of the white on orange. The black looks so much better. It does look so much better. I mean, look at, well, I guess that's white. But anyways, this one, I like this. This isn't bad. I can, I can deal with this. I wish we could get rid of the green. But other than that, the black on orange, not bad. Now, guys, normally I would like pull these in and kind of give them a once over. But I've got some work we can, we can do today. And it's like just right here, pretty much. Uh... We've got a field we could do some work with. And I think we can probably get both these tractors and put them to work. So I, I think we'll do that first. Now, it's it's not up on here, though. These are all our cover crops. Those canola crops we planted last year, last winter. Oh, let's get on the barbed wire. Look at that. They're coming up real quick, guys. We're going to get to harvesting sooner than later, actually. And it's it's just early spring still. They they all survived the winter, it looks like. Things are, are going to be looking good for us. But what can we do with the new Staras? Well, of course, I've got a plan. And it's just... Well, down by the tire shop. You know what? Let's take the new 180. Uh, I've got the cultivator over there. We got some work to do. We got some tilling to do. Oh, and, and look at this. Remember that I complained? I, I can't stand the interior of that 180 over there. They finally fixed at least the screen on this one. Here, look at, look at, look at. Look at that. A nice new screen. It doesn't look quite as cheesy. That's not bad. Um, it sounds a little bit different, too. I haven't decided if I like the noise, the sound it makes yet. It, it's, it sounds kind of tame. Oh, well, um, it, it'll work just fine, but it just sounds kind of tame. I was hoping for something a little bit raspier, I guess. I don't know, something a little meaner. It sounds more subdued than the actual other star somehow. And I, I don't know how that's possible. All right, we've got the Amazon uh, disc harrower here, guys. We're going to go take this down the grass field that's just down below here and i need to get rid of that grass to be honest with you i have no use for it. we actually planted that grass back when we had the big cow farm here but we no longer have use for that so let's get down there and chew this up yeah guys all this down here we actually decided to make this for our cattle feed and we no longer need this so you know what let's get rid of it 
We'll turn this into a field. And uh, you know what? We'll we'll plant some. I think we're gonna plant some money beans down on it. Are you kidding me? Does the the star has the same problem as the old ones? Look at my dash. The flickering. Is the, come on, star. You guys gotta fix that. That's that's ridiculous. All right. Tilling time. Drop her down. And away we go. Oh man, there is no way that either of the old stars we had guys would do this. This one is not bad. What do you guys think of this? Do you guys, do you like this one? Oh, is it, is it okay? I, I don't know what to think. I, I feel, I feel strange saying that I don't mind it. Um, I don't know what to think of myself right now. Uh, what's going on with the dash though? That's, let's see if I put some lights on. Maybe that gets, nope, that doesn't fix a thing. You know what? That's a star for you. Typical electrical gremlins throughout once again. Oh, I thought she was going to struggle on the hill, but you know what? It seems to be powering up the hill. No problem either. Guys, I'm actually somewhat impressed. You know what? It's, uh, it seems like it's capable. And that's good because, well, that big, that auger bin, I think th that's really where this tractor is going to be pulling this fall. Maybe we'll use the big one. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't decided yet, but uh, I'm actually relatively impressed with this little guy. I was not expecting it to be able to handle this, to be perfectly honest. And because uh, there's no way, like I said, the other 180 we have, it would not do this in the same manner. I mean, we've been, we haven't had any problems yet. It's been holding at, what do we, I don't even know what speed we're doing. 20 kilometers an hour. Is that what that says? 16? I, I don't know. I can't read it. The dash keeps on flickering. Anyways, it's, it's handling it. No problem though. So... I, I guess I, I can't complain except for, well, the dash. Uh, and the colors, I don't mind the colors either. The colors are actually not too bad. I don't mind the orange on black. I think that looks okay. Orange on white, I can, li I can live without. But the orange on black, yeah, I, I, think I, can, I think I can live with that. All right, there we go. That is uh, one lap at least. <laughs> All right, let's keep on working away here. It's going to take us a little bit to do this field. Uh, we'll be in here for, you know, but, but take about an hour, I bet. It's not a massive deal by any means, and really, I don't need to do this, but we've got the equipment. I've got seeds sitting there that we can plant. I got some soybean seed ready to rock, so I figure we might as well get this in the ground, and this will guarantee us a decent fall harvest. We'll get something out of the ground this fall, at least. I'm not sure when we're going to get those other winter crops out of the ground. That's, uh, that's, I mean, it looks good, but you never know, right? Yeah, definitely somewhat impressed. You know what? Even like when we come around the corner here and start climbing up the hill, I keep on expecting it to show a little bit of weakness. Um, you get, all that really happens is you hear that engine kind of just gear down a little bit more and it just powers right on up. And here, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You'll hear it. It'll, it'll just kind of gear down and it's definitely noticeable when it's going up the hill, but it's, uh, it's, it's impressive, guys. I'm really kind of surprised. There you go. You can hear that that engine is just kind of... It's ramped itself up. But we're not slowing down. We're definitely holding the same kind of pace we are on the flats. I am... I am pleasantly surprised right now that it's handling this. I mean, how how is it possible I have this many kind words for Astara? How is that possible? Well, um... I, I was waiting for the other shoe to drop this whole time, guys. And it has worked, well, for the most part, flawlessly. I'm, I'm having a bit of an identity crisis right now. I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, I, I kind of liked it. It, it was, it was kind of fun to drive. I, I don't know what's going on. Who am I becoming? It's like I don't even know you anymore. So the updated 180, pretty slick. I am not complaining whatsoever, but I'm going to put this in the shop for now. Uh, we'll do a quick inspection on this thing, go through everything with a bit of a fine tooth comb here. And uh, we'll see if there's anything else that needs to be done to it. Let me just pull on the back side over here. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Actually, it goes pretty good with the signage in the back there, doesn't it? It looks so mean. I, oh, man. Anyways, uh, let's move along. The 500. Let's kick the 500 up. We're going to grab that 32 row planter. And, uh, guys, we're going to see what this thing can do. Oh, boy. That's quite the size difference. I'm telling you. Let's fire it on up. Oh, boy. Listen to that turbo. All right, guys. Um, it sounds mean. I'll give it that much. Let's, uh, let's go hook up. 
you know what these articulating tractors i struggle with them so much but whatever we'll, we'll take what we can get for now we'll see how this works out back on in and we'll get going down there we gotta fill up with some seed let's hook on up that turbo just sounds so mean on this thing i can just hear it whistling away that's crazy uh so we got some seed down in the in the little shop down below here i'm just gonna back the whole planter unit into that shop and uh we'll fill it on up we should get fertilizer and seed in this thing so gonna be doubling up uh i don't think i thought this through i just realized how how small that garage bay is by comparison to the size of this planter this could be a bit of a fight is it gonna fit oh yeah best driver in farm sim right here you guys see that come on well guys this thing holds a substantial amount of fertilizer and seed i mean we had 10 big bags here and it took almost all of them for well, at least the seed fertilizer it still used like half guys that's a lot of seed let's get going let's get this uh let's feel the plant let's see how this is going to work out for us oh i'm kind of excited yeah i know Ex excited to use a stara what what is come what is going on are we in opposite land yeah that's that's not bad that's quite a good spread compared to what we've been used to with the stara stuff guys um this is something let's drop this in fire it on up oh man all right well it can handle it look at that all right so we're seeding and fertilizing and everything is going in the ground all at once ah that's cool so you know what it is a direct drill like i said guys so if well next next year we're not going to need to to cultivate or plow anything up we can just dive into the field with this uh, even this fall depending on what the canola field does up top guys we're gonna be able to just jump right on in look at that oh man i i i don't think i've had this good of a day with a stara ever and now the real test how does it do on this hill it's definitely struggling guys even this big bad boy here is struggling trying to pull this planter up the hill uh it's gonna do it it looks like but it's definitely it's a struggle I, I guess i kind of expect i mean look at the size of this thing 32 rows that's that's a good size i i was hoping it would just flap this hill but i guess uh yeah we, we got lucky enough already today you know what i don't mind it it's it's a little bit janky to drive i find but uh other than that guys it you know what you can't beat the, the price for now at least I, I don't know if I'd... Oh, man. I might I might buy one. I don't know yet. This is actually not bad. I'll take the demo for the summer. That's for sure. Wow. I, I, I don't know what to say here, guys. This little planter... Well, fairly good-sized planter worked out pretty much flawlessly. The tractor did decently. I think I'm more impressed with the 180 than uh, the 500, of course. I mean, I expected this one to be kind of well, powerful, of course, just given the size of it. So I kind of knew what I was getting into, but that little 180 surprised me a lot. It's such an upgrade over the last version. Uh, the planter did exactly what I expected it to do. I mean, we didn't try the auger bin. I'm sure it's fine. I I'm just kind of surprised here, guys. But anyways, guys, that's uh, enough planting for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We'll call it a wrap there for now, but uh, we'll be back with, well, more work on the Star King Ranch. Um... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really see this coming, guys. Didn't, didn't see this coming at all. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Slap that like. Don't forget to subscribe. And folks, I'm going to catch you next time. From Georgetown, this is Clutch. Over and out. Oh, man. Mm -hmm.